Within the last two weeks, four dogs from local police departments have been given bulletproof and stab-proof protective vests. Caridio News Channel 13's Natasha Lynn gives us a look at how they're protecting those working canines. Most of the fleet of canines in our local police departments now have that protection, and that's bringing to light the importance of these life-saving vests. As you can see behind me, little Britta here with Colorado Springs Police Department, she's wearing hers, and it's custom-fitted and thick like a protective vest that a human officer would wear. And she can still move around very well in it, as you just saw. These dogs, like their officer handlers, put their lives in danger too, doing tactical operations and going after suspects. They also work with narcotics and bomb identification agencies, as well as TSA. Donations play a big role in making sure these dogs stay safe when out on calls. Local law enforcement does not supply the vests. They rely on the nonprofit organization Vested Interest in Canines, which donates these vests based on need. The stab-proof and bulletproof vests cover the dog's vital organs and the areas that are most likely to be struck by an attacker. Most of the trauma that happens to dogs are usually within their chest area or stomach area, so, and that's where these vests protect basically everything there. And, and I think uh, to have something like that, that just either saves their lives or at least gives us the opportunity to get them medical treatment before something happens to them. Sean's canine, Britta, is his second working canine. His first, Petra, passed away in a training exercise, and he's been working with Britta for seven years now. Colorado Springs Police Department has 15 dogs in their canine department. Most of the patrol dogs have a vest, but they're all expected to have one in the next two years. As you may remember, El Paso County Sheriff Canine Officer Jinx was killed in April, really bringing to light the importance of every canine having a vest. Reporting in studio, I'm Natasha Lynn for KRDO News Channel 13.